Hey everybody, welcome back to the survival series. This is episode 19. We're in the month of February. Uh, snow's on the ground quite heavily. Not much we can do as, as far as field work goes. Uh, but I did clear out around the grass area. This is a grass field, it will be. I uh, cleared it out so it's a little more manageable when we're... Uh, Going around the bends, cutting the field. Uh, there's a few more I want to cut down, but uh, no rush on that. Got all winter. Uh, the cows and the sheep are pretty much starving. They're not completely out of food, uh, but they're very low. The sheep are almost out, and the one cow pen has under a thousand liters, and so does the other one. We don't have any bales. Well, I am going to have to purchase the hay bales, which I already did. But uh, they're waiting for us over at the store. I think they cost 6790 bucks per eight bales. And I bought 16 so we lost about 13 14 grand on bales. Um, and I'm going to stick one of those bales in our little wildlife feeder that'll give us a little money back. Yeah, we definitely need to go get that done. So first thing I'm going to do is load up a load of uh, wood here to take to our sawmill. And then we'll go get the bales and get the animals fed. All right. <laughs> So, good news. I found a mod on the work on the uh, mod hub that allows us to sell honey, and it's not super pricey. It's called the. Find out one second for you. So you go into construction, production, selling points. 
and it's the self marketing mod and it has a real cool selection you got like vending machines you have little potato boxes selling lodge extensions and then uh, the actual selling lodge I bought the little selling lodge big is what it's called and it costs 5,000 bucks I placed it up here we're gonna deliver to it now and you can sell honey there along with all kinds of other stuff so it'll give us a new uh, you know a new mix of selling points to keep an eye on the rates of where it's best to sell other things but uh, this will be the one place where we can finally sell our honey oh, I placed it right here we'll decorate it a little more once winter's over all right, so we got about $3,500 on three pallets. I wonder if I can go inside there. Yeah, there's uh, what it looks like. And you can go in. Oh, how cozy. Look at that. Where's our honey? I think that's the honey. Uh, I don't know. It's in a different language. I think that's it. Could be wrong, but either way, we can sell honey here, and that's uh, that's great. Sell milk too. Oh, there's a light. Didn't see the light switch. Cool. So, yep, that's on. It's called the self marketing mod, and it's on the mod hub. All right, let's uh, let's head over and get the bales. I'll meet you over at the store. All right, so we're just arriving over here at the Stower. And I bought 16 hay bales. Should load them up no problem. That is 72,000 liters, which seems like a lot. But at the same time, we need to uh, feed quite a few animals. We got the two cow stalls. And then the sheep as well, so. Probably won't last that long. But it should get us through into the spring. Alright, here we are back at the homestead. And we'll get them fed. Also, the sheep were pretty low on water. So we'll get that knocked out. Then, what do I got on my list here? I do want to sell the wood chips. We're starting to get quite a pile over there. And I also wanted to put in a uh, shelter, a bigger shelter to store bales. That little one. I need that for equipment. So uh, I was thinking of putting a bale shed right over here somewhere all right so uh we'll time lapse that and get to work all right
that worked out beautiful. Got some leftovers. Um, we got enough left. If, if they make it till spring, uh, we should have everything we need to make some TMR, hopefully. Um, I put down this nice little shed. Didn't cost a ton of money. And I also put down these tarps. Um, they're covered in snow at the moment. But once the weather breaks, they'll be blue. Uh, you know, keeps the, the ground dry where you put the bales. Nice little touch of realism there. Yeah, the sheep, cows, topped off on food. Now all we gotta do is uh, get the water put in. For the sheep. And eventually I'll get all those bales organized and we'll have all the bales put in there at some point. But for now, let's go get them watered. And then we're going to load up the rest of the logs to uh, put in the sawmill. I got all these bales sitting over here, too. We got plenty of silage. We've been holding on to that silage for quite some time. done with the watering we are gonna get the wood chips loaded up and sold I'm gonna hook up to the trailer and grab our little bucket loader we bought on the previous episode I guess I got to be on the other side of the trailer that would help yeah I'm not sure how much money we're gonna get A little extra money doesn't hurt. I always wonder, like, I've never got to that point. Like, if the wood chips hit the max on a sawmill, does the sawmill shut down? Like, if it, it's if it's not emptied, I imagine that's how it works. But I've never uh, never let it pile up enough to find out on like any map I've ever been on. So just curious. I think our little bucket loader's down here at the uh, sawmill already. I'll keep this over here. So that's for bales. Get this all loaded up. It's a place to park.
We might get more than one load out of this. That's a pretty hefty pile. Alright, let's uh let's get her filled up. Well, that took a while. Um, good thing we time lapsed that. We got what one, two, ooh, one, two. Is this the third load? I lost track. That took forever. But um, a lot of extra money. I think it. I think it was three loads. So eight times three, twenty. We made about twenty-five grand on wood chips. They don't pay that great. But there was a bunch of it, so it ended up being a nice chunk of money. Get this sold off. And this is going to set us up beautiful for uh, finally being able to purchase the big uh, forestry equipment, which is going to really speed up the whole clearing out fields process we'll be able to knock down trees a lot quicker and de, de uh, limber them without needing to use a chainsaw so it's going to be nice excited to uh, get moving along on creating more fields and clearing out more farmland so that is pretty much going to do it for today it is the winter time we're kind of limited on what we can do uh, but we did take care of the most important thing, which was getting our animals fed, because they were uh, they were struggling there for a minute. 
Oh, we do need to put a bale in here. Let's throw, just throw one in real quick. So this is that wildlife mod I was talking about. If you just place it right there and look up at the top right corner of the uh, screen, you'll see that we're gaining a dollar every so many seconds. Uh, that's because it's slowly eating away at this bale. Bottom right corner shows you that it was 5,500 liters for every, you know, a liter goes down, a dollar goes up. Yeah, nice little extra chunk of money. Not a bunch of money, but it is something. Um, yeah, I'm going to be purchasing some big equipment on the next episode. Animals are happy. Uh, topped off with hay. And sheep are topped off with water. I don't know why they're not showing full on food. I, I gave them a bale. See what the reason is for that. Oh, there we go. So they weren't completely full, but uh, I'll make sure I throw another bale in there so they're not starving. That'll that'll get them by for a little while. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Make sure you hit that like button, and if you're a new subscriber to the channel, hope you've been. Uh, enjoying what you see so far and i hope you continue to watch for all you others we'll see you on the next one it's big rig frosty gaming signing off goodbye <laughs>